and look at his nature. It says in verse 9, you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. Jesus didn't just do righteousness. He loved righteousness. You know, a lot of times we Christians, we do the righteousness. We do what we're supposed to do, but we got one eye on that fun that the world's having. In fact, you can kind of tell it and and I'm, I'm guilty of this. Some of the shows we watch. Oh, those guys are kissing. That's okay. That's cute. Oh, that couple, they're, they're not married and they're having relations. That's, you know, just, you know, nothing. Jesus loved righteousness so much Amen. that he hated the wickedness. Amen. He allowed that love of uprightness Guard what he watched, what he did. You didn't have to tell him, don't do that, don't do that. No, he didn't need that because he loved uprightness so much that he didn't want to do anything that wasn't upright. And this is, this is the whole difference between a religion and a relationship with Christ. And this is why a church that emphasizes don't do this is taking people away from this relationship with Jesus Christ. You've got to emphasize him and loving him. You know, that resulted in him being anointed above the angels with an oil of gladness. Oh, I've missed out on a lot in my life. Of course, I've made a lot of mistakes. I don't have one of those uh, drug-induced uh, fun times to give a testimony about. I've got plenty of other wrong things to give a testimony about. But when it comes to where I am in my life, I have the joy of gladness through Jesus Christ, and you can too. He anoints us with that gladness. Gladness. 